So in the left corner, we have the Champion, the 4K Fire Stick Max, which is supposed to be the fastest Fire Stick. And on the right hand side, we have my trusted old 4K Fire Stick. Let's do a quick test. So I press and hold the home button, pressing letting go. But we can see my 4K Fire Stick actually responded faster. Let's do that again. So press and hold, let go. We can see my 4K Fire Stick seems to be a bit faster. Let's do that one last time. Press and hold, let go. We can see the 4K Fire Stick seems to be responding faster than the super fast 4K Fire Stick Max. Similarly on the home screen, we can see on the 4K Fire Stick Max, pressing down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 versus my 4K Fire Stick, down, down, down. We can just see, it just seems to be that little bit snappier on my 4K Fire Stick versus the 4K Fire Stick Max. Now, all of this is made possible by using the new TDUK Speed Toolbox, which has been designed to give your Fire Stick a massive boost in performance by essentially turning off all of those animations. And using the toolbox in less than 10 seconds, you really can give your Fire Stick a massive speed boost. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, to start this process on your Amazon device, just head over to your settings, go to My Fire TV, go to Developer Options, and make sure you have both these options set to on because we will be making an ADB connection with this new toolbox to apply that change on your device. Once you've done that, let's now press the Home key and let's open up Downloader. And let's now open up a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Click on Go and this will take you straight to my website. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines. Click on that and click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get this new TDUK speed toolbox. So here we are. And this just gives you some information about exactly what's happening in the background. So all of these Android devices, whether it's your Fire Stick or your Android phone or your Nvidia Shield, they all come with these animation scales, which is the window animation scale, the transition animation scale, and lastly, the animated duration scale. Now, these are put on your device just to make the whole experience look a little bit nicer. So you have those smooth transitions, smooth movements, and just, you know, make the experience more pleasant. Now this is fine if you have you know a powerful phone or a powerful device but on these lower power devices and especially on these fire sticks i just think the animation is not needed and really does slow the device down so we can now turn that off using the tduk speed toolbox and this is what it looks like let's go down here's how you enable those options and underneath all of that and click on the link here click on that scroll down and you want to click on this green download button. Here we are, I can now click on install. And in case you're wondering, the logo was inspired by Star Wars. Okay, I can now click on done. Let's press the home key. And here is the new toolbox. Let's open that up. Now the very first time you open it, it will make an ADB connection. And if you see an error like this, I can click on open ADB settings, go to developer options, turn ADB debugging off, just for a couple of seconds, put that back on. I can now press back on the remote, back again. Let's now open up the application and we are now inside the application. Now we can see the default values, which are all set to one. And if anything happens, you wanna go back to defaults. You can just click on reset values, click on save. And I'll put everything back to where it was. Now for you to fully appreciate the impact of these values, what we can actually do is increase this to five uh, also to five, and this one will also increase to five. Click on save. Now when I press the home key, you can see all of the animations have now been greatly increased. If I press down on the remote, um, I mean, it does actually look quite nice, but you can see guys, it's very, very slow. And now trying to navigate around, everything just has that sort of slight pause. And similarly, if I do the long press home key, let go, 
and that slowly fades in. So that basically shows you the impact of those three settings on your device and what the values actually do. Now lastly, if I back out of this, so you can see like moving around, going up and down, it just looks very, very slow. But also, which is very important, if I open up Downloader, because there's actually a direct impact to the virtual mouse. So here comes Downloader, nicely fades in. Now you can see if I press down the remote, we can see it's going down in very, very small steps. So you could say it's a little bit more precise, but we can see that's just way too slow. And the reason why I'm showing you that is if we now go back to the toolbox. Now what I recommend for the first two, because I don't care about transition animations, I'm going to turn that to off. Window animation, again, I'm going to turn that to off or zero. And lastly, the animated duration scale, if I put that to zero and click on save, we're now basically saying we don't want to see animations on our fire stick. Let's now press the home key. And you can just see straight away, guys, everything just feels super snappy, moving around, clicking on things. It literally is just night and day difference, guys. Everything just appears straight away. No need to wait for anything to load. It just feels so much faster. So do give a thumbs up for that. The only slight issue of having the animation duration scale set to zero is if I now go back to downloader, if I now move around, <laughs> you can see guys, I can't actually control the mouse at all because every time I press like left on the remote, it goes to the left. If I press down, it goes to each of the corners basically. Now, if you are somebody that doesn't use, you know, download or the virtual mouse, then fine, you can leave the settings as is because that really will give you the fastest performance. However, for most of you, as I know you do use downloader, I personally recommend going back into the toolbox and changing the last one, not to zero. I mean, personally, I go with 0 0.2. Let's go to save. Let's press the home key. So everything else is still snappy as before, but inside downloader, we can see that the mouse, you can control it. I mean, it still does jump around uh, quite a bit, not much as before, but I mean, this for me is enough. And I can always click on what I want to click on. But if you find this is too fast for you, again, go back to the toolbox. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag speed, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment and maybe increase this to 0.3. Click on save, press the home key. Let's go back to downloader. And that's a bit more precise now. So that's really personal preference, but definitely turning off the first two, the window animation and the window duration will make a massive difference to your device, especially on the devices like the Fire Stick Lite. You will see that as soon as you make this change, everything will just be so much more snappier than before. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really am trying my best to get this new channel to 10,000 subscribers by the year end. I know it's a big task, but with your help, with your likes, with your shares, I think I can get it done. So please do like and share this video. Do hit the subscribe button and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.